Welcome to Flash CS6 Tutorial 17 Random Question Test Part 4 It's a follow up to the Random Test Part 3 and that's what I have on my computer now. So let's go back to the main timeline and this here frame's name go up to 91 insert a blank keyframe open the properties panel and call this dupe d u p as in duplicate that's going to be where we're jumping when we uh, have hit something twice go up to 101 and insert a blank keyframe for now open up the actions code for question one come right down to the bottom of the page put a couple enters in and type 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 this else code else ELSE -E, turns purple open curly bracket I don't need this go to and play small g small t capital A capital P that turns blue open bracket quotation mark dump as in duplicate close quotation mark close bracket semicolon and by now, if not, there should be a curly bracket here. Copy that. This is for frame 11. Go to 21. Make sure 21 is down here in dark font. Come right to the bottom. Couple enters. Paste it again. Go to 31. Come down to the bottom. Couple enters. Paste it again. 41. Paste it in. 51. It's just as easy to do these than start and stopping. Paste it in. And 61. It's two more to go. Couple enters. Paste it in. And finally, 71. Couple enters and paste it in. I'm back on the main timeline. I'm going to go up here at frame um, it's frame 101, insert a blank keyframe, open the actions panel, oops, I gotta select that first. Select that keyframe, open the actions panel, and when you start having all these things here, you, you, you don't come back to where you wanna go sometimes. That's not what's on there. So click here and close all script. There's 101, there's nothing on it. Type, type, type this code. So make sure it's 101, nothing else is, is shown here. That's the problem with opening this up. It gives you all these, these tabs down here. We're gonna say go to and stop, open bracket five, close bracket semicolon. So that means every time we get directed to this frame, that would be when we make a duplicate, we're gonna jump back to this frame five where we're gonna be allowed to generate a new number. Okay, so we're going to give this a try, and uh, we've got to be watch very careful, or carefully. Each time I press it, when I press it, I'm going to generate a question. It's when I answer that question, I'm going to generate another another question. If it's a duplicate, it's going to go up to that last key, that last frame up 101, and then go back and do another question. So we've got to count how many questions we answer here. Okay, there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, five, and now it's, it's duplicating, 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 and there's nothing we can do about that because that's the random, the random sampling trying to come up with a number we don't have. There's six, there's seven, and it's done, it's finished. So, the easiest way to get around this, and, and you're probably going to have that, is I only got seven questions and I'm looking for five so it's going to take a long time for it to find five out of seven if you had if I had 20 questions and I was looking for five this would happen very fast so for me to get around it I'm going to do something I'm going to make sure all my layers are locked I'm selecting this start button layer I'm going to insert a layer and call it duplicate D U 
DUP duplicate and I'm going to go up to that frame which is right in line here with this duplicate insert a blank keyframe pick up my text tool make sure I got static text and I'm going to draw a text box here saying uh, question Q U E S T I O N B E I N G being G E N E R A T E D question being generated so that way there that's what I'm going to be seeing so let's test it again one two three four five six seven and it would do this all night because I only got seven questions now an easy way to get around it if, it if it bothers you is you can come down here to your frame rate and put that up to a hundred I'm gonna go up to a hundred on my frame rate 101 and that will happen faster well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. But the, the the really thing to do is have a whole lot of questions to draw from, and you won't be be stuck in that waste, wasting that time. I'm putting this back down to twenty four. Now, now we got to make it so that we only ask for five questions. So I'm back on the timeline. I'm going to this frame number two, opening the actions panel, put a couple enters and make a new variable. The VAR, you could have copied this and paste. It's called total questions, capital T-O-T-A-L, capital Q-U-E-S-T, -E and that's the same format as there. And the total questions I'm gonna have, the way it works, because if it loops around, I have to give it a, one, a number, one larger than what I want. So six means I'm actually asking for five questions. So now I'm going to go to each question bank and add some code. So I click here, open the actions panel, go way up to the top. Before this first question, click and put a couple enters and put in this code, type, type, type. The first thing I want to say is total quest. That's that variable I just made. Minus, minus, semicolon. Minus, minus means decrement by one. Then I'm going to trace. Trace that just to see that, it, that it's working. Tracing this value. And I'm saying if, open bracket, total questions equals equals zero, close bracket. That's just the same test like we've been doing. Open curly bracket. There's a closed curly bracket. Go to and stop, open bracket, quotation, test over, close quotation, close bracket, semicolon, and this will send me to game over after five questions. So now let's go to frame 21. Go up here, couple enters, paste it in. Go to 31, again, these are easier than me stopping and starting it up again. Paste. 41. Paste. 51. Couple enters. Paste. 61. Couple enters. Paste. And 71, couple enters and paste. And I wanna close all my scripts here. Now, with a little bit of luck, no errors. Again, I wanna count them. One, two, three. It's generating a question. Four, five, and I have an error, and I gotta find out why I have an error, but it has to do with 
Label test over not found on scene one. Did I not make that, give that a name, test over? Probably not. I have test, test is over. So going back on all these codes, 71, got to make a test is over, capital I S. And I'm going to copy it like this. Copy that whole thing. Copy it. That's 71. There's 61. Be careful pasting them in. Oh, it went too far that time. See that? Paste it. I'm probably not copying it right. I want to copy the quotation marks. Copy. That's 61. 51. You could have put, you could have typed it in, is. I'm just not a fast typer at all. Paste it in. Paste it in. Scoot ahead if you already have this done. Paste ahead. And paste ahead. Now maybe we're a bit lucky. Here we go. There's one, two, three, four, five. And that time it worked really well because the last question being generated came quickly. But sometimes, test movie, test. One, two, three, four, five, and now we're waiting for that last question because it's the sixth question. Remember, we made it six. That actually sends us to the test over frame. Just a couple more things I want to do. The first thing I want to do is the button, the screen button. We only need to see this at the beginning. So on this next frame here, this is where I, the action script is for that button. So if I go to this next frame here, right click, insert a keyframe, I can't just make it disappear. I just can't kill it all together because it'll give me an error. So what I gotta do is make sure all the layers are locked, select the button layer, highlight it, and drag it off the stage. So now we won't see it when we jump into that second frame. I want to do something uh, similar with the to hide the points. So I don't need to see the points till the end of the of the test. Normally you don't see your results as you're going through a test. So this is the points line right here. Select that layer, insert a layer. Just call it mask, M-A-S-K. Select right here this in line with bank one where the points actually start insert a keyframe pick up your rectangle tool pick up a white for the stroke pick up a white for the fill and make a rectangle right over top of that and we can see that rectangle comes right down to to this point here so go to one shy of where this test is over, insert a keyframe, and then in one motion, click here and drag right to there, right click, and I want to remove those frames. So now that when we get there, we're actually gonna see my test score. Pick up my selection tool. I'm going to test this with all correct answers. And there's a couple things I'm looking for. I want to make sure we can do five questions. And I want to make sure this disappears after I click it. And I want to make sure I don't see my score till the end of the game. Here's So the button's gone. That's one good thing. This is one question. This is two questions. This is 
three questions. This is four questions. Five questions, and it's got to generate the sixth one, and I made a score of 100. I think this was the most challenging tutorial I ever did. I um, hope you learned something from these tutorials, and I hope you use what you learn.